Americans generally assume everyone Please speaks English. English. Do you speak any English? Often they exceed our expectations. Former Chinese President Jiang Zemin surprised Mike Wallace in 2000 by reciting the Gettysburg Address in English. Four score and seven years ago. Even the French president speaks English, kind of. We will be happy to help you make money in France. But Americans do not generally share such multilingual talents. I don't speak a, a foreign language. It's embarrassing. Instead of struggling with foreign grammar, Americans would rather struggle with headphones to hear the translation. But not in City Terrace Public School in East Los Angeles, where 90 students have been learning Chinese since kindergarten. Like his classmates, Nelson Enriquez even has his own Chinese name. Five years old, they're like little sponges. Nelson's family speaks Spanish at home, so he is trilingual, which the eight-year-old is already planning to exploit. I may get a better job and a raise, too. These kids have been studying Chinese for four years, and they're pretty good, but this is an unusual school. Across the country, only 50,000 American school kids are studying Chinese. In China, by contrast, there are 200 million students learning English. The numbers are increasing. A decade ago, about 300 schools in the U.S. taught Chinese. Now it's close to 1,600. Driven by interest in China's $6 trillion economy, now the second biggest in the world. At City Terrace, the Chinese immersion program is so popular, they have a waiting list. Learning Chinese as a second language will help their children to be able to find a better job later on. And then there are the hidden benefits. Why do you think your parents wanted you to learn Chinese? Mm, I think they wanted me to learn Chinese because they like to go to Chinese restaurants. Two languages, two cultures, and no one at a loss for words. Terry McCarthy, CBS News, Los Angeles.